Hey everyone, Eric from Help Cloud here, ready to do another field test and review. Today we're doing the DJI Osmo Pocket, and again, this is just an average Joe review. I'm not a professional videographer, so if you want to get some cool clips for your family and friends, share it on YouTube or Facebook, anything like that, this is for you. Just to get some normal shop business out of the way, check out our merch at shop.helpcloud.com. Also, check out the new Luster links that we've been putting in the description. It is a way for you to find alternative products, cheaper products, as well as look at the reviews all on the same webpage. Follow the link, check it out. Also, check out their extension. It's pretty cool. You can see reviews and pricing and alternatives to products while you're shopping on Amazon and Google. And FYI, we do get affiliate revenue through this source. I did order some accessories with the Osmo Pocket and I think that's pretty essential. I got some cool stuff like the controller wheel that you see here. It allows you to easily pan up and down, side to side. I also got the extension rod, which is by far my favorite. Really cool, especially for filming action like I usually do. And then the wireless module is really great. You can move all over the place, just have it connected to your phone instead of through the smartphone adapter. This came in especially handy as I was doing time lapses in the mountains and stuff. There's the ND filter sets and then the smartphone adapter when you just want to have your phone in the Osmo Pocket with yourself. To get the most out of the Osmo Pocket, I highly recommend these accessories and more. Here's a quick list of my pros and cons for the Osmo Pocket, starting with the pros, which are high contrast shots. That's especially relevant for me considering I'll be shooting mostly on snow. I don't know if you saw my GoPro edit, but definitely mostly all snow. Uh, biggest pro, smooth, 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 and smoother. It's really great to go out with friends on hikes or film my dog on a hike or um, film some buddies on some jumps. And it's just smooth and the painting is smooth and it, yeah, I love it. Other pros are ease of use, really easy to use, really easy to use the accessories. Firmware updates are awesome. You're always getting new features and they're fixing issues. And a pro obviously is the size. You can take this anywhere. It's great for travel. It's great for hikes. It's great for day outings. And it's great for in the house and out in the yard, stuff like that. My cons are there is no replaceable battery for when it does die. You have about a two hour life. It says 140 minutes, but when you're filming, especially in 4K, it comes out to about two hours. That's pretty good, but I spend a whole day out there sometimes and having replaceable batteries rather than carrying a battery pack would be preferred. The FPV, so the first person view, is pretty difficult when you're doing more intense action and it's not mounted somewhere, especially if you're holding it on a rod. It just isn't the same as a GoPro, for example, where it's extremely fixed point. Being on the gimbal, it does pivot some and you don't get everything that you want in frame. The Osmo Pocket is rated as water resistant, but I took it out in snow and it did really well. And as you can see in this hyperlapse here, it was knocked into the river by my dog, it fell in completely submerged, and I pulled it out really quick, pulled apart all the components, blue dry it, air dried it, stuff like that, and it worked just fine. This next section just goes over some main filming modes with the Osmo Pocket.
My conclusions for the Osmo Pocket is that it's a great little camera. It's obviously not meant for professionals always to use, but I'm not a professional and I have a lot of really fun places that I go that I want to sometimes share. And this is perfect for me because I don't have to haul a ton of equipment and spend a lot of professional time on that. It's just something quick and easy. It's lightweight, it's decent quality, it's decently durable, and it can produce good quality at its really fast and easy. So is the DJI Osmo Pocket still worth it in 2020? Yeah, for sure, especially with their ability to do firmware updates. Get it, use it, take it to family reunions and have a lot of fun with it, things like that. I hope you liked the video, doing the normal stuff. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And until the next one.